Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here and I am doing a review video of the new store venue called the Now and Then Century Manor, uh, which actually comes with two manors, uh, hence why the name is Now and Then. <laughs> but anyway, I decided to do a review of this because this is one of the... Uh, it's one of the venues I am most excited about that The Sims has released because there are so many items for builders. And I have to give a special shout out to Robin who gifted this to me. I was over the moon, so thank you so much, Robin. I can't wait to use it. Uh, but anyway, let's have a look. So basically this set uh, comes with 42 items and two residential lots. And it was inspired by The Sims 2 mansions and garden stuff pack. So a lot of the bits and pieces in the house, uh, in the households are actually very familiar uh, to a lot of you. And uh, basically the architecture movement was, or the architecture was inspired by the movement called the Second Empire style. I don't know what that is, but still very, very cool. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, Sim Guru Tatatot had a blog on this, which I was reading about, and oh, it just sounds so awesome. I mean, first of all, we have to look at the roofing. These roof, uh, this roofing is actually special pieces uh, that you actually pull out and you put together. Uh, I think there's seven pieces to to the roof kit, and um, yeah, it's just great. And I'm assuming it's completely recolorable. Yes. Uh, so you can you can go all out and make it red if you would like or any other color uh, That that tickles your fancy and I'm loving the mint green by the way, but anyway, let's have more of a look My creative style is taking forever to load uh, Come on Okay, there we go. It is entirely recolorable. So let's go down um, Whoops and Okay, first of all, I've got to say the staircase is probably the wow factor because, oh my goodness, I cannot wait to make this staircase into a mansion or put it into, into a mansion that I make rather. <laughs> so anyway, there's three pieces to it. You've got the two curved edges and the straight staircase. And oh my goodness, look at this. The return of the grandfather clock. That is very exciting. Uh, very exciting indeed. There's lots of artwork as well. Uh, kind of old style and really really gorgeous doors and windows and these new chandeliers which I might add the object I'm most excited about in this whole pack is look at this these are chandelier chains so I don't know if you guys watch my variety build but I had a chandelier sitting like in the middle of the room uh, and it just looks weird because I kind of lowered it using split leveling because I wanted to have this effect of having like a chandelier chain. But look, you can actually get them now, which is amazing. I love it. Uh, more paintings around here. Uh, the grandfather clock. We've got some new lacy curtains, which I know a lot of you guys will have a complete field trip with. <laughs> and a new fireplace. There's also new balustrades, uh, which is really nice. And of course all the windows so I am stoked with this and check this out the return of the fans and this reminds me of Sims 2 so much these fans uh, but yeah really really gorgeous I believe there's a new tiles as well which are really pretty uh, really 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 pretty so if we go up another level there is like an attic area where they've got these boxes which are pretty cool the wooden crates uh, which I think came with this pack. Little, uh, like, kids' bedroom. I don't know why The Sims 3 always put these creepy kids' bedrooms in the attic. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know, it's funny though. They did that in the Goths house. Uh, and then if we go down back to the base level, what else do we have here? It's pretty much, um, most, ooh, that's a nice pattern they put on there. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's pretty much, mostly build items that really is the big thing about this. I think they described it as a builder, uh, builder centric venue. That's what they explained it as. And yeah, lovely gardens. And of course this fencing um, is really, really cool. Really, really, really cool. Anyway, now let's look at the other venue. And this is the old one. This is really like creepy looking. Uh, and it, I love it. It's like decrepit and 
it's it's really quite amazing. I, I love how they've built this, by the way, as well. I think they've done an amazing job building this. So here we go, it's just loading up. It's definitely looking pretty run down. And uh, yeah. I love also if we go to the roof, there's actually floor tiles missing, which I thought was pretty clever. Uh, I like that. So yeah, of course we have all the removable pieces from the roof. Uh, oh, and by the way, those windows are actually attached to the roof pieces as well. If we go down, there is something very, very exciting in here. And look at that. This is this green blob. This is a fog emitter. So this is from by debug mode, meaning that when you're actually in gameplay, you won't see it. But that means that fog is going to emit from here, so you'll really get that creepy sense of the house, which is really cool. And I love how they've also made like all of these doors and archways where the kind of the doors kind of fallen off. There are cobwebs to put around your house, which is really cool. Boarded up windows, uh, and yeah, you've got the plants kind of coming through the floors, and oh, I love this. And I love how the gardens overgrown. Uh, into the into the bathroom and the chairs are kind of scattered everywhere. Very, very, very cool. Uh, so what else do we have in here? It's pretty much, oh, there's more fog emitters. We've got rubbish everywhere. It's just really cool. What is that? Oh, that's more trash. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it's a really nice set. I love the chandeliers, as I said before. That's probably my favorite part. We've got Lots of fog emitters. I reckon I'll put a sim in to show you guys what the fog looks like so we can check it out. Uh, but really, really nice uh, build that they've done and uh, it, it's just fantastic. I love it. Great job to the sims team. Uh, so I'll check out the fog emitter in a second. Alrighty, so this is what the house looks like uh, when the mist is going in live mode. and. Can I just say how awesome is that? Like it's so creepy looking with all the smashed windows and I just love it. Interestingly though, it doesn't actually work inside the house. I'm not sure if it was meant to uh, or whatnot, but I still think it's pretty cool nonetheless. And I love how there's little bugs kind of, little roaches kind of on the ground here and uh, we've got some moths flying around. The place is looking really creepy, really abandoned, and I love how this bathtub is just broken. Uh, that attention to detail is really, really nice. Uh, but anyway, the set's 1700 sim points, I believe, and uh, ob obviously it's available now to get. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with, actually, with this set, or what the community comes up with, because I think builders could get really creative with the different pieces that have been included. And can we just one more time look at that staircase? Because that is amazing. Uh, really, really cool stuff. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have a nice day or afternoon or evening, uh, wherever you are. And uh, I'll, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.